Hey guys, I'm sitting in the parking lot at school and I'm getting ready to go into class. Sadly, I have my um, communications class tonight from like 7 to 9.30ish, so it's not bad. And I met two really nice girls in that class, so I don't mind going. And I actually baked them um, some banana pumpkin bread, and I put it in these little Halloween bags that I got from Walmart. So I hope they like it. I personally really enjoyed this bread. Um, I used kind of like half box um, and then I added like a fresh banana and um, some of that pumpkin butter that I showed from my haul So I kind of tried to put a homemade spin on it But I have made homemade banana bread before but I just had a box one that I wanted to use up so Anyway, I'm also drinking um, a pumpkin spice coffee So I'm a little you know rambunctious because I just had some coffee I've been trying to make a frappuccino with my magic bullet, but for some reason I just can't get the hang of the recipe. It always turns out to be an iced coffee rather than like a blended coffee. So I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm just adding too much liquid and not enough ice. Um, I know I'm not adding enough ice because I don't have an ice maker, so I gotta fill up ice trays all the time and it gets pretty annoying and I'm lazy with that. So that's pretty much what my night is gonna consist of and then I'm gonna go home and pamper myself because I have a really quick photo shoot in the morning. Just gonna be headshots, pretty natural makeup and I'm doing my makeup and hair myself. So I think I'm gonna straighten my hair and then obviously do like very light natural makeup like I just said. I gotta be up around like 7 tomorrow to get ready for that and then I'm gonna go to my grandma's with my mom and um thought this guy was gonna hit me and uh, just hang out with her and uh, play with the dog and you know maybe go out to lunch or something on a side note I just wanted to say something I am getting really tired of always feeling like I have to be approved by society and I don't really think that um, I kind of follow my own rules I'm very opinionated I speak up about things that I'm unhappy about or things that you know I feel like my input is necessary I also feel the need to wear makeup um, I love getting dressed in the morning I know some girls don't like putting on makeup I know some girls don't like doing their hair and for them getting dressed is a chore I'm not one of those girls I would take two hours to get ready and I have before um, just because I enjoy the process I like wearing what I choose to wear I dress kind of depending on how I'm feeling that day if I'm feeling like a little vibrant maybe I'll wear a dress or some bright colors some days I feel rockerish so then I'll throw on my leather leggings and some combat boots and like a dark lip so I dress depending on how my mood is and I understand that there's some people who might not approve of what I wear they might not approve of how I do my makeup but I just want to say that I do those things for myself and I feel like everybody should always get dressed and wake up in the morning and be happy with what they see in the mirror and that means no makeup or a full face of makeup it doesn't matter whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you personally enjoy I just feel like people feel the need to tell everyone what they should look like and tell everyone how they should dress, what trends are in, and it's not like that. You are your own person, and of course you can take inspiration from other people, you can follow the latest trends, or you don't have to give two hoots about trends. I just feel like society has just become all one big person, and I, I think we should all stand out. We were made ourselves for a reason, and we are just denying ourselves that by trying to be like someone else. I know that's a really random side note, but I've just been thinking about that so much lately. I just, I don't care if people like me. You know, I'm a very nice person. I'm a good friend. Um, I'm very genuine and I'm very real, but I also tell it like it is, and some people might not like that about me. But personally, I go to sleep at night knowing I'm a good person, and I know other people do that too. So maybe if someone, you know, left you a hater comment on your Instagram, or someone kind of gave you a bad look at what you're wearing, or maybe your eye makeup just doesn't look great that day, you know, just brush it off because I know everybody out there is a great person, and just I feel like sometimes our greatness is diminished because of what we feel like we should be or what we feel like society wants us to be. Main point, just be yourself and be happy with yourself. Um, sometimes I'm not happy with myself and obviously that means I need to find some changes that I need to make to ensure that when I wake up I like what I see in the mirror and I don't necessarily mean that all like aesthetically I mean that inside as well um, you know I've made decisions in life um, I've done things I've said things where in the next morning I'm just like 
okay that's not who i want to be now what do i need to do to become who i want to be morning guys so i'm stuck in traffic what else is new anytime i need to drive south which i'm not going to miami today thank god but anytime i need to drive a little south of where i live it just takes forever to get there a like a destination that should take 10 minutes to get takes about 30 because of how much traffic there is and just how many people live in florida just go hurry up get to work get to wherever you need to go because i got places to go to but they just never seem to move it's just like no one's ever in a hurry but me but I'm actually getting a little late this morning I had a dream that I just did not want to wake up from do you ever have those where you wake up and you're just so disappointed that your dreams over or that your dream isn't real and um, that's basically what happened to me this morning and a lot of people say that they don't dream but then I hear that everyone does dream for the most part, I would say I dream every other night or like I remember my dreams every other night. Um, and my dreams are very, very vivid. I can, for the most part, remember everything about it, especially if it's something that's stuck in my mind or something that's like impacted me. Um, I've had dreams about my dad before and like he's told me he's okay up there in heaven, you know. So things like that, I'll always remember those types of dreams and then dreams that just get me really excited or I have someone in my dream that I haven't seen in a while or just, you know, random things happen and I love dreaming. Dreaming is fun because obviously you wake up disappointed because it's not real, but then sometimes it's almost good that it's not real and you just get to imagine it and actually not go through with the actions. I'm actually on my way to the photo shoot that I talked about yesterday. It's just going to be a quick photo shoot for headshots. Um, I did pretty natural makeup. I just put on some false lashes and kind of did a little smudged eyeliner. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear in the photo shoot because it is supposed to be just be a headshot. So I kind of think I'm going to wear something strapless so that my collarbones are very accentuated and that's kind of the main focus is my collarbones and my head. Or I have a few tops that kind of like go down in a V that are a little sexier. Um, I'm just really not sure what to wear and I don't have too many clothes that I think are uh, photo worthy, uh, clothes that I think should I should be photographed in. So. That's why I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll do something that's strapless so you don't even have to see the shirt. Yeah, but no. Oh. I just got done filming my favorite fall lipstick, so I'm just going to edit that. And I'm eating a can of this Campbell's Homestyle Soup. This is the spicy vegetable chili. I don't really like it. I've tried that soup before um, and it's really good. It's really hearty, so that's why I like it. But this one just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just don't really care for it. Um, that's what it looks like. Looks kind of all gross and like throw up, but I'm getting ready to edit my video. The fashion show tomorrow, um, I got booked for a little fashion show for a designer um, and they're also like unveiling the new Maserati. So it's like a local Maserati Ferrari um, dealership around me. So I'm excited to do that. Very quick, pays well. So I'm like, heck yeah, because I don't know if I told you guys, but I quit my job at Marciano, which is where I used to work. Just wasn't working out. These are the pictures from yesterday from the photo shoot I was at. So this was like a clean beauty shot. Uh, then we have kind of like a seductive <laughs> uh, bathing suit shot, and then what else do we got? We have another clean beauty shot. Let me see. Got to pull them up. So that was another kind of um, natural look. I just got back from class. I'm tired. It is like 8:30. Oh no, it's not even 8 o'clock. We got out early today, so wasn't too terrible but I just ordered a pizza and I'm so excited to eat it I got meatball mushroom and onion dun 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 okay it looks much better in person and it is really good this pizza place makes awesome pizza and I had a little bit of green tea like a swallow left um, I just got some unsweetened green tea from Starbucks Look at how beautiful this place is. I think we've gone here. This is actually called Grassy Waters. Um, and it's a just a nature center, um, kind of like a hiking trail. And they have many different branches and many different trails you can choose from. And we've gone on a few of these different hikes. But I'm pretty sure this is a trail we've never gone on before. And my feet are absolutely soaked. Because we were literally trekking in water about that high. So I'm really enjoying my day with Mason. Hey 
guys, so it is Sunday morning and Mason and I are going out to breakfast with his mom, which I am so excited for because I'm starving and I've been like craving French toast or like pancakes or just something so sweet for so long now. So I'm finally going to get my craving fixed, which is great. And his mom just got back from Rhode Island, so it'll be nice catching up with her. But I just wanted to show you my outfit for what I'm wearing today. Just very casual. It's a Sunday morning and like I said, we're just going out to breakfast, so nothing too fancy. I'm wearing this orange pink shirt. I really honestly dislike this shirt. Um, the orange color is nice, but it's too long and of course it's wrinkly because girl, I don't got time to iron, but um, it's wrinkly, but like it's just an awkward looking shirt, but I've never worn it, so I just figured I would. Um, my shorts are from Gilly Hicks, which is just like the sister store of Abercrombie and Hollister. And then with that, I just have this um, Hollister little braided belt. I'm not really a fan of these shoes either, but they're just these braided kind of gladiator sandals from Marshalls. I'm wearing my white Michael Kors watch. And I'm also just wearing this like orange kind of clementine color homemade bracelet that I made. Nothing too fancy, but I just figured it matches with my shirt. My makeup's really casual. Um, I just put on some mascara, a little bit of an inner corner highlight, and then I have on Revlon's Lip Butter and Peach Parfait, which is my absolute favorite, if not my favorite lipstick of all time. It just looks good with any lip color. Um, it looks good with any eye look. So I'm obsessed with Peach Parfait. I've literally went through three different tubes of it. So and I'm just wearing my little diamond stud. <laughs> Mason got a hash brown casserole with eggs and bacon and so did his mom. I'm waiting for my food, I'm empty here. I ordered a spinach omelet with feta and spinach obviously, grits, and then I have my coffee. And we also got a pumpkin pancake and it has brown sugar and a cream cheese frosting drizzle. Yum! 